I don't know about replacement, but I speak to companies today that can do with three to ten engineers what was just not possible five years ago. Like it was just wasn't possible to churn out this many features and this much code with three engineers, no matter how long you spent coding. And you can just see you can that's kind of obvious when you use tools like cursor when you do when you use you know, things like sonnet mm -hmm. to code is it is somewhat insane even to me as a technologist that this is possible now you can't push that to the limit and say okay therefore software engineering is dead <laughs> it's not like one non-technical ceo just coding like writing some stuff on uh, cursor there is some technical stuff involved, but the amount you need to do the same thing is, is, is reduced. I think it's a very apt comparison with AI because um, just like with self-driving cars, a lot of people thought easy problem, look, I can get so good so quickly. But it turns out the hard part of the problem is getting to 90% is easy. It takes like years and years of perfection to really get that last mile. But we're starting to see examples of it right now. It has 50% of the ride share market in San Francisco. Which is crazy. It? Which is crazy. And that's that famous graph which goes like this and like this and then kind of plateaus. It might be at like the peak of a little bit of a hype chain. But then it falls and people are like, oh, it doesn't do everything. But at the end of the day, I think it's without question that we're in a position where AI does a lot. I don't know how much, I don't know if it replaces software engineers, but it does a lot. And I can already see that already. In the Bay Area, people love to talk about software engineering, very high-skilled professions that we all know and care about.